No matter what you are celebrating this time of the year, tis the season for people to be asking each other what they want for the holidays. I know exactly what I want for Christmas. It doesn't cost anything, and you can't find it in the store. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I'm going to share something neatly wrapped up in altruism and mindful platitudes. But it's quite the opposite, really. When I said what I want doesn't cost anything, that wasn't exactly true. In fact, what I want for Christmas threatens to cost me a lot. And if I don't pay attention, I will be paying deeply in emotional and spiritual pain well into the new year. You see, when our wants are tied to things happening or people being a certain way, our happiness becomes dependent on things we can't control. And ironically, we have given away the greatest gift we already possess in the process. It is so unbelievably easy to dwell on the vivid memories of what the holidays used to look like or to imagine what they could be, if. So when we say, all I want is for my family to be happy or all I want is for there to be peace on earth, although beautiful sentiments, Those are big asks, and nobody can give you that. Despite the fact that we've all been conditioned to want this to be the most wonderful time of the year, I urge you to consider the notion that the only true gift, and one that we have all been given, is the gift of the present. Now, I'm not saying that this holiday season I won't be missing family members who have passed on or moved far away. But I am resolved to let go of hopes and expectations and simply enjoy each new moment as it unfolds. I'm Lisa Hopkins. Thanks so much for listening. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. And remember to live in the moment.